Welcome back to another episode of Freeport here on the Filmaholic channel. And today the A24 movie that we're talking about is 8th Grade. Um, we are currently going through their films. Uh, last week we did Hereditary, and um, next week we're doing The Last Black Man in San Francisco, I believe. Yeah. Um, which I'm looking forward to rewatching that. But rewatched 8th Grade last night. I know you have done it recently for your A24 marathon. Um, this is a four and a half star film for me. I think it's really good. It's excellent. Um, it was a film that I saw in theaters the first time, and it just I, I don't I didn't appreciate it enough the first time. I think I might have given it a three and a half or a four. Um, it was a three and a half. I, I liked it. It's good, but it wasn't until the second time that I rewatched it where I was like, oh, you know, it, it just connected more with me that time, um, and I kept it at a four and a half uh, last night. Um, Elsie Fisher, I think she does a fantastic job leading this film. Um, I, mean, I think this is her first. I mean, it's her first big role anyways. Um, I think she did really good. Bo Burnham uh, did a really good job directing it. Um, you know, it was my list. It was in my list of coming-of-age films that we did this past week um, on Top Shelf um, because it really takes a look at another part of the coming of age genre because most of the time with those films you get high school and uh, specifically uh, senior year of high school. So with this you get her leaving eighth grade and going into the summer, I guess, or about to be in the summertime of um, before high school starts and what it's like transitioning between those two schools and to be a kid at that time, which I think is really important. Uh, because to me, when I look back at like high school, middle school and all that, I hated middle school. Middle school was the absolute worst. Um, and high school got better, but like eighth grade, like looking at that point, I guess that's one I really connected more to it. Um, upon the second time, like thinking about that and where it actually takes place. See, I liked middle school. I just didn't like life during middle school. So I hated all of it. <laughs> uh, seventh grade is probably my favorite year of school ever. Oof, man. Love seventh grade. I mean, that's good for you. I, you had a good middle well, school I, experience. School-wise. No, life-wise? No, 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 no. Just downhill after that. Um, but yeah, seventh grade, had a blast. Uh, yeah. That's uh, why. You thought I was joking earlier, but I... I've been thinking about moving this movie down to a four stars. Why? Uh, I don't know. Just overall, I don't think it's four and a half for me. Like I say, I love the third act. Like that's that's where it moves up. Like before that is just kind of good but not great. What about it doesn't make it great? It's bland, kind of. Man. I mean, it's not yeah, like bad. I definitely don't think so. Kind of. I don't know. It's just. You know, get the point here and there. Like, I, there's nothing like crazy happens. I don't think the cinematography is bad. Um, it definitely, I, I see what he was going for because it's, you know, a lot of, you know, you her doing her videos, a lot of cell phone usage, stuff like that. So the cinematography that it has makes sense. It's very raw. It's, it 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 fits, but. I don't love the cinematography. I prefer coming of age movies to have like a more of a warm, like spectacular now, Lady Bird, um, even the edge of 17 really. Um, so that was one of my complaints about the movie. I didn't love the cinematography, but everything else I thought was great. Um, the, the fact that she was doing those videos too, uh, and kind of, you know, talking to us as an audience when she's doing that, um, building on her character. I, I like that stuff. Um, and I liked, I liked too, as far as the cinematography goes, when, when she does do that stuff, it actually looks like she's filming the video instead of it just being normal. I liked that he did that back and forth. Um, I liked her seeing her relationship with her dad in the movie. Yeah. Um, the scene with them in the third act was really good uh, when she's burning her stuff. Um, and just like, yeah, just the different stuff she's she's going through um, in terms of trying to fit in, uh, di just different stuff being like really relatable to, um, which, first of all, I don't know why you have superlatives in eighth grade. 
in middle school. I don't remember if we did or not. It definitely wasn't least talkative. Uh, we did. We had it in so my senior, senior year. Um, I got a couple, but that's one that you definitely shouldn't have. There's certain ones where I'm like, I don't know why this is one, um, which I know like Prettiest Eyes was one in ours. Yeah. I, well, which I, 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 would, I would take that out, but like. I, I can't I can't imagine least talkative or most quiet or whatever. Most quiet? Yeah. No. They did have it in the middle school year, but I didn't get any in the middle school. Um, once, uh, once Probably again, I did it. Middle school. Hated it. Oh, didn't uh, get a <laughs> My life will amount to nothing. But we did, and I think most quiet was one, or most shy, or something like that. I, I really do. I think that was one in the yearbook, and that's that's crazy. Like that automatically, like I feel like would go be something that makes somebody insecure. Oh, you guys think I'm really quiet? Like that's not really a compliment. Yeah. And I don't know who approves that. Um, or what class. It was most talkative, like. Yeah. Most disruptive. That's what it should be. Get out of here. Uh, I don't like it. And, you know, just what, what she says when she's talking about well, it. Even the idea of superlatives make people insecure. So. Yeah. Our best eyes. Well, I just cut mine out. I don't have the best eyes. Well, see, I, I, certain ones like that, I feel like you should change, you know, um, I mean, I, I want a couple, but they weren't like that, and I, I feel like I mean, most, ones like most likely to. Like, yeah, that's I'm ones that I, I think that you should they should be. Oh yeah, well, class clown. Yeah, best dressed. Uh, don't know how you do that one because some people don't have the means, so definitely not. Gonna not best dressed, then, dude. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's just, I mean, um, I mean, if you talk about making people insecure, that's not gonna. Yeah, but I mean, that's like you only get one person. So, I mean, there's a lot of people that are dressed nice. It's not like you're saying worse dressed. Now, if that was one, that would be bad. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't know. But, you know, she t- she's talking about that. She she wins it. And she's just like feels awful. You can tell. Uh, which that whole ceremony is just awkward. Like no one, it doesn't, no one wants to be there, which I mean, that's how I feel like. Yeah. All of those assemblies in those school stuff was. And it was kind of weird. Like it was like, she didn't, she didn't even know that, you know, most quiet was a category. Yeah. Like to me, it looked like she looked shocked. I'm like, did you not vote on these? You had to have saw your name. Like, cause it's not like a write in thing. You had people. But that's yeah. how. Well, was. Like you, you wrote in the first time, and then we redid them, and you chose somebody for the finalist. Really, I don't think ours was like that. Yeah, Randleman wasn't that advanced. I don't think. I think what Randleman did was just people like voted; they just turned it in. Oh, but you had to have known your name was going to be on that list. Like, if it was a category, it's like, yeah, people probably think I'm quiet. But, you know, and she talks about it. She's like, I'm not really quiet. I just don't want to talk at school. Like, you know, if you got to know me and were friends with me, I, I wouldn't be quiet. Yeah. And that that's very relatable because, like, that's how I was in school for the most or at least least middle school. Um, you know, like my last two years, I talked to more people, but still really quiet around a lot in, in class and stuff. It's like I don't have anything to say like what what do you want me to say just words just just talk about nothing no i mean like i don't know you don't want to talk to you because you don't talk to them i've heard what you've had to say and i don't want to talk to you <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be that way if you got to know them. uh it'd be worse i mean yeah i'm sure um but yeah, I found I found that to be re- re- relatable. Um, trying to think of what else. Oh, so, you know, there's that one girl. Her dad wants her to go to that party. She meets that girl who's like popular, and ends yeah. up fighting her. Her awkwardness through the whole movie is great. Well, that's an awkward situation. Your person you're not even friends with, your mom, is just like, oh, you'll come to the party. 
I don't think I can go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would, I wouldn't have went to that at all. Um, I'm not going. But especially you know, being like a, like a swimming pool. Nah, dude, I'm out. I'm out. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't go to it. And then, but but she did, and she ended up karaoke and stuff like that, and that was great for her character. Um, but then she calls her dad at the party too, and it's like, ah, oh, come and get me, you know, like party's over she's like lying to him she wants to go home I'm the and, <laughs> i don't know if i've ever been in a situation sort of similar to that but i can definitely feel what I've she was felt, in. i've been in that situation like, like guys going on, dude can't you just be on time punctuality man like the, the party wasn't over for her but it's like i've been in a situation where it was over like oh man what is going on yeah this is awkward. I'm just like, uh, you guys have plans or something. I just stand on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in the house until I get picked up. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> it's like wanting to leave somewhere and not being able to. Um, what's some other scenes? Back, which comes back later in the movie with that creep in the car. Well, we can go ahead and talk about that. Yeah. Well, that whole, whole thing. Not too. being in control. So start like to go back a little bit from that when she, she they do a field trip sort of thing to the high school right um, did you do that in eighth grade I did I think but I know you went to it was, yeah it was they're like you're not gonna go here <laughs> oh, so they're like no nah. I don't think we did it um, we might have like walked around random in high school but I definitely wasn't interested in I think we did we did walk around. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like a buddy system. God, like, no, nah, I'm out. Just kidding. No, no, thank you. Yeah. I ride we, the bus. Uh, I don't like any of you. We, we did that in eighth grade. Right. Walked around. And I can't remember too much about it other than just walking around, like, going through the hallways. Yeah. Um, That's all it was, I think. I'm sure it was a lot of stares, like, happened in the movie. People just say, oh, look at the eighth graders. Ha, 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 ha. Whatever. Um. And then she gets paired up with this girl who becomes her friend. Um, I think well, her name's Olivia, that character. Um, which I was trying to figure out because I couldn't remember what her age was when they, when they set them two up. And I'm like, and it kind of says later, I think she's a senior. Because they say. Or a senior, I can't remember. They said that she was, they were four years older than her. So that would have to put them at seniors. Yeah. Which seemed a little bit odd because they didn't feel like seniors. They felt like maybe juniors or sophomores. And I feel like that's what they should have been to be working yeah. with these uh, eighth graders as well. Because it seems a little bit weird to do seniors because, I mean, they're like leaving the next year. I feel like if you got like a sophomore or a junior, they've been there a couple of years now. So they like got the feel of high school. But they're also, like, if they make friends with them, you have somebody that you know the next year when you go into it. But Nobody. I guess, you know, people don't people plan out and think about things like that. So she ends up beginning friends with her. She's really nice to her. She invites her to the mall to hang out with them. Um, and her dad ends up going in spine, which, honestly, I don't blame him at her age. Like, well, no. you know, because I don't... I I wouldn't have got taken to the mall. Uh, nah, not going. Uh, but especially like you got like his character had to know like your daughter doesn't have any friends. Well, he was happy that she was making friends though. Well, that's what I'm saying. But it's like you're just gonna drop her off at the mall. Right. He wanted to see who her friends were, and that makes sense. If you hadn't, I mean, <laughs> she she's not old enough to drive and stuff yet. At that age, it's like I would want to see who her friends were too yeah um could have been more nonchalant about it just get called out and the fact that they were that they were you know four years older and i mean there was reason for him to act like that too when we get to the scene later which that's another i was watching it too it was like annoyed me that her friend olivia lets her go home with this guy like she gets out of the car doesn't stay in the car 
Like, I know they were friends, her and that guy, so maybe, like, I guess she thought she knew him and that he wasn't going to be a fucking creep. Yeah, yeah. But, I don't know. That I don't whole... know I would put somebody in that situation as far as, like, I just, you know, nah, man, you drop her off, like, she doesn't know you. No, that's weird. Um, Definitely wouldn't do that. But like I say, as far as her, she probably, yeah, she probably didn't think her friend was a creep. Um, but... <sighs> That whole friendship's weird. So we let's go back to the mall for a second. Those four high schoolers were sitting there talking. They didn't really all seem to like each other. It seemed like the two dudes were friends and the two girls were friends. And yeah. they were just like having like this debate conversation with these other two guys. Oh. What? They were arguing. They much. were arguing, yeah. Then I'm out of here. <laughs> and really, I don't know. I just didn't buy that in general. They were arguing. I didn't bother. They were all friends, really, with the way they were talking to each other. Um, honestly. And she was just there. Yeah. And I don't want to base it all off looks, but they really didn't seem like the dudes, like they would be hanging out with those girls either. I, I don't know. I didn't get that feel uh, from it. Especially, I don't know. The one guy talking, I don't know. Just basing off like... What I got from high scene from high school, I don't know that. And the one dude wasn't even talking, it's right? And then he started laughing at something the one dude said, and then they call him out for like laughing and not having a voice of his own. Yeah. Um, and he's yeah, definitely one of those. You, I, I get, think you could really tell he's a creep at that point, anyways. Just like the type type of person he was. And then like the girl's like, ah, oh, it's okay. I'm or um. Our main character says that it's okay. I'm quiet too. No, I'm not quiet. You're quiet. Getting like all defensive and pissed off. So Creep. then obviously the situation in the car, we're true for their thing. Um, yeah. Just, it's, it's weird anyway. to be like, Oh, I'll let me pull over. Whoa. No, man, you keep driving. <laughs> yeah. What do you, what do you mean? Pull over. <laughs> we don't need to talk. <laughs> Like, why would you get in the back seat? First of all, if you're going to pull over, like, ah, did you want to get in the front seat? No. Uh, uh, no. It's, it was, it's, it's really cringeworthy uh, to watch. Could have put that in my movie that made me feel uncomfortable for the 30-day yeah. film challenge after rewatching it. Um, And then he, you know, as they're driving away, he tries to switch it around and, and blame her for him being a fucking creep. I was just trying to help you. Oh, okay. I got you, buddy. Yeah. I do like like the whole when she does get home, I like the cinematography and how the sound cuts out. When she yeah, uh, she goes in her room and her dad oh, comes in there. Yeah, she goes in there. Um That guy is in low tide, which you have coming up soon. Yes. Josh Hamilton. He plays an annoying character in that movie too. So, the dad or the kid? No, the kid. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's not Josh Hamilton. Yeah. Oh, man, I thought the dad was annoying. <laughs> no, he was in something else I watched. Uh, where I think he played a creep. What was it? The dad. Uh, it was a show. Sure. Um, yeah. I don't know. Just did to me you just watched that no it was a while ago but it was a situation i think i watched it with sarah was it could have been a movie no it was american horror story season three he was i think the husband to sarah paulson's character when the season starts he's a witch hunter is that a profession Apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that dude's a creep. The kid. It's like yeah. that. Um, trying to get to think of what else. You know, the end. Well, she she, she has that conversation with the, the popular girl earlier on when she gives her that note. Which that's... So that awkward to watch. So awkward. Like, a lot of these scenes are just like, oh. Like, I know what you're trying to do and then, like, build your confidence and everything, and that's great, but it's like, oh, man. 
I just want to like what kid like writes a thank you note though. That seemed weird to me. It, I mean, it is weird. Like, I mean, you're talking like, was it twelve years ago? I would have been in eighth grade. Uh, we weren't writing notes, thank you notes, man. So I mean, even in modern day, like you would have sent something on social media or something. Well, now I feel like you would send like a text message. Well, she ain't text got a message never. or. She sent her uh, message on Instagram. Well, yeah, I, mean, I would probably send the message back on Instagram. Um, but she's definitely not passing her note. Eighth grader probably would have been MySpace. Well, for us, yeah. For us, yeah. But I mean, she already showed her that she followed her on Instagram. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I don't, I can't imagine that. That I don't, that didn't seem realistic to me to give her a note. Yeah, that. But it was uncomfortable to watch, and then she confronts her at the end, too, um, which I like that scene. I didn't like that she was looking down. And that that's what really stands – that's one of the things that stands out about the scene. But then, you know, you, you show that she she's still a work in progress. I mean, she's still that age, you know. Like, she still hadn't hit high school yet. She still has a lot to go through. Like, she's built the confidence enough to, to go and confront her about it, but, you know, she's still not able to, like, look her in the eye and do it. I feel like you did karaoke in front of everybody. You shouldn't have a problem. That with was it. that was one of the situations I saw that I was like, I I don't know if I both buy this for her character at this that point. In the film. At this point, no, like especially not on her own. Like if yeah. she had done it with somebody, like the, the cousin or whatever. But it didn't really matter. You can do like say you can do karaoke. You can take her a note. You know, obviously she's not looking at you, but it's like you can't confront her and look at her. I don't I don't know, like stuff like that. Yeah, there's a couple things that I would change about that. Um, I, I like the scene where she, you know it's Friday night, so she gets to do what she wants and all that. And like you know, we have the the dinner scene where she's like listening to music, uh, which that's a pretty good scene. And then we cut from that, we have her in her room where she's like looking through all of this different stuff. And we have that uh, that song playing. It's like a montage. I like that because that definitely too like goes back to you know middle school high school i'm just like staying up at night just like scrolling through just like that different was things. not my childhood so i did not <laughs> just in your room that, that that dinner table scene would not have flown oh i mean i'm not i'm talking about like the scene after that yeah well that's just so awkward like i mean first of all you know as a child for me like i never had unless like the times i was my with my dad i ate with my dad but like at mom's, I didn't really. We didn't sit at a table and eat anyways, you know. Like I just, we I went to my room or I went to the living room and ate, watched TV. Yeah. Um, we we didn't have we didn't we had a table, but we didn't sit at the table and eat. So yeah, we did. Um, well, yeah, like that that scene would not have played out in my life. <laughs> well, it's so awkward. It's like I can't imagine just being at the table, especially with just you and another person, to be like, I'm gonna listen to music. But I'm gonna sit at the <laughs> table and eat with you. I'm out, dude. Because at that point, I'd just be like, oh, I'm gonna go eat over here in the living well, room. That's the thing. She's not even eating. She's just looking at her phone, really. Yeah. God, you're gonna let your food get cold. I like it like that. <laughs> be sure to uh, not let you use the microwave later. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, but the banana scene's funny too. I thought you didn't like bananas. <laughs> I, I wrote a note. <laughs> <laughs> And then even like I say, even that like she tries to eat it. You don't have to. God, I don't like bananas. Okay, I just throws it at him. <laughs> uh, that's good. And then I don't know, like Rick and Morty. I don't watch it. I'm never going to. Doesn't seem like I, something. Not for me. Uh, but yeah, they they talk about that at the end with that special yeah, McDonald's so, sauce. Yeah. I just. It's like how? Where is that guy's parents? They're it, just. Uh, it, how long has that food been out, too? Because he was like, "Ah, oh, if it's cold, I can warm it up." When did you get this? <laughs> An hour ago. <laughs> when did you get it? And I don't, I don't know anybody that goes to me. Yeah, I need one. I need two of each sauce. No, well, you get two, and it's gonna be fifty cents after each one. That's what I'm saying. They're not giving you sauce like that anymore. You didn't get that much food. Like, uh, yeah, how much is your bill? 
They might would give him one of every sauce, depending on you know. Two of every sauce. That's a little. That's pushing it. You had a very generous McDonald's. You know, yeah, you did. You, you you explained to them you got like a play date or something. People try to argue me. Like, I got an extra ranch. God, man. Went to Sonic one day. Can I get a ranch? Uh, that'll be 50 cents. Never mind. Oh, man. I can get you ketchup. I don't want fucking ketchup, man. <laughs> well, it's like, like I say, you got, they had what, six sauces? I don't know. It, it was a lot. You're not getting six sauces. There was that one. I think you might you might get six if you get like fifty piece McNugget. What do you think he got? Twenty piece? He probably got twenty piece of fries. Like you might get four. So you 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 must have explained it or you paid for it. But that's yeah, you're not getting each. You're not getting two of each. But it's weird you ordered for. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It just seemed like... I'm not taking it down because of this, like, small stuff. It's like... Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had this conversation. Like, you you asked her what she wanted, but it's like you didn't ask her what sauce. Hey, I don't think he asked me want, what she wanted. Because he was like, um, you like chicken nuggets, right? No, I'm a vegetarian. Well, good. They're just nuggets. They're not chicken. Don't worry about it. That's, that's I mean, weird. He had fries too, but like I, who nobody wants cold McDonald's fries or warmed up McDonald's fries. I don't eat fries warmed up at all. That's one food I won't warm up. And, nope, sorry, trash. And I'm not taking that home with me. But yeah, it's just like a whole weird thing. Like oh, I got this chicken nuggets and fries, a Big Mac. You need a Big Mac. You're not getting a Big Mac, dude. It makes more sense for the chicken nuggets. You can split it, it up. It makes more sense, but the Big Mac is the best fast food sandwich. So that's another. That's another video. Um, but yeah, it was weird. Like you didn't, I don't know. I ordered this food and I got you six sauces. You're not getting I, mean, the, I don't care who you are. You're not getting the ranch. Um, you can have the honey mustard. Take it. Um, that's the extra sauce you can have. But you're not getting my ranch. If you're like, oh, ranch is my favorite. Yeah, well, you're only getting one. I'll tell you that. I'll take the ranch, barbecue. Well, there's two different kinds of barbecue, I think. I want regular barbecue. Sweet and, uh, or sweet and sour. That's a whole different sauce. Well, at McDonald's, there's sweet and sour. Yeah, I know. That's not barbecue. That's what I'm saying, but there's two different kind of barbecue, so there's tangy and then there's something else, I think. Don't know. But, he, but that's what he said. He's like, Oh, if you have a favorite and you want two, if your favorite's ranch, you're not getting two. So <laughs> I actually like the hot mustard that they have. No, uh, you can think. You can have that. If that's your favorite. You can have it. I'll take your ranch. Oh, you're not taking my ranch. I'm getting one ranch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like she's like, oh, ranch is my favorite. Well, then you're only getting one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave. I'll leave this by myself. God. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that character too. He's nice. Um, but he's weird. Definitely weird. Definitely, yeah. a definitely yeah. a, a handstand. No, <laughs> definitely a type that I I would I recognized from like being in school. Like he, uh, the and then he had the scene at the end too when she comes in and I just like I laughed when I watched it. When she like comes in, he's ah, oh, how'd that get there? Oh, so stupid. You don't want to see, do you? No, you do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it? It's so awkward to watch. Like, oh, man, put it away. <laughs> I got Marksman of the Week. Oh, that's really cool. It's dumb, actually. I think it's cool. Well, I think it's dumb. Oh. I think it's dumb, too. Rip I it up I'm for him. <laughs> I'm believe it. Um, I thought that scene... If you go to Archie, and... what? I don't I th think. I'm staying at the house. <laughs> I thought that scene and then the scene... Um, where she was like scrolling through looking at that guy's Instagram and he's like this scrawny ass eighth Rip. grader. He's like straight flexing, bruh. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> started laughing at that, that too. What'd you say? Like that back today. Like, yeah, I can. That's you guys. A lot of people. Yeah. Seen on middle school. Where's it, what, what muscle are you showing, dude? Well, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they were showing. Yeah, but uh, 
I don't know. And, and like I said, like a lot of stuff is relatable. Even that dude that she likes, definitely a type two. I've seen a lot of people like that. The what? Super douche. Yeah. Wear his shirt like that around his neck when he gets out of the pool. Um, well, you're not wearing a jersey to school anyway, so. Uh, that I know. I mean, not in my experience. You can't wear tank tops. Well, I, th- I feel like their school system, like you just gotta overlook that because the yeah. Olivia, the outfit she was wearing, I don't that wouldn't fly at Randleman either. That was one of the things I noticed. Like, I don't think there's anything. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, That's a whole other conversation of. But it's like strict coach, rules on uh, clothing. But. I hope we'd have one. I mess them up. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm sure you would. <laughs> You'd get shot. You'd be the first one to get shot right and, out there. Uh, which that's the thing we can talk about too. But like, yeah, um, when he, when she's telling him too that she's like the blowjob thing and whatnot, and then he's like, she just walks away and he's like, like does a face and like, what, scares. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> just <sighs> what a douche. <sighs> and then. Uh, like, yeah, oh yeah, I charge my phone too sometimes. <laughs> yeah, when, when the battery stops. Most, uh, most do. Um, uh, but yeah, that, I, that was a scene that I thought was weird the first time I watched it, and I still think it's weird. Is, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not in school anymore. Do they do that? Do they do like a a, a drill for I people think it's getting weird shot? That your drill was people just standing and getting shot. Well, we we had, you know, I don't know what they called it. We Lockdowns. had. Yeah, yeah lockdown lockdown. drills. But that, I mean, I guess that would be the equivalent because it's always like if there was a shooter, which is stupid. Like we're gonna lock the doors, like you know, be quiet. But uh, yeah. So they have that scene and like they have like it dramatically played out where like the, the right. one teacher like has a fake gun and like I don't know that it just was really weird to me. And I, I wonder if if certain places do that. Which I mean, we're at the point now where I mean you gotta be prepared more for with with everything that's happening but i don't know i do think they should change it because even with he yeah they should change it to run <laughs> yeah run the opposite direction because that's what well i think they, they said i think they said that i think he he said something about that if like if you if you hear one in the hallway like run the opposite direction he's like if you're real close and you're in a classroom or in, in the bathroom and you hear one outside the doors like turn the lights off and run you don't get out I mean, if you turn it, I don't know. That's going too much into it. But, yeah. That was a scene I thought was weird. Overall, though, 4.5 for me. Um, I definitely want to see Bo Burnham direct something else. I want to see Elsie Fisher continue on to do something else. I haven't, don't know anything yet. She was in um, Castle. Was it Castle Rock, that show? I know she was in that. I haven't seen it. Um, I do want to, I would like to kind of check that out. Um, but, uh, yeah. I hope she gets more, more roles moving forward. It's a four and a half right now, but it could be a four. You'll keep it at four and a half and you'll like it. I still like it at four, but just won't love it. <laughs> All right, guys. That's our episode of Free Poor. Uh, check back next week. We'll be doing The Last Black Man from San Francisco. And uh, you haven't seen that yet, right? you got to watch it this week. Yep. Curious to know what you're going to think. Um, I have that at 3.5 right now. And I'm not sure if it'll stay there, if it might move up to a four. It was kind of like going back and forth with me last time, so I'm curious to see but uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next Thursday.